my fellow diamond friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kulwandi Internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm very happy that you found your way to today's video, which is another video in which I will be presenting to you our new releases from our small shop called Jolly Jam Shop. Um, and in our small shop we are currently offering a variety of paintings that all or legally licensed paintings. You can find them in various sizes and in square or round drills. And we also offer customization service. So if you want to add like special drills, you can do that. You can contact us in the Jolly Jam Shop at gmail.com um, or even just click the button that you find on our webpage. Um, and you can contact us if you want to, for example, enhance your paintings, add some ABs, crystals, glow in the dark ones, trinkle drills or metallic drills, we can help you out, find the best placements. And in this video, I will not just present to you like the different um, paintings that we are going to release, but I also want to talk a little bit more about the different, um, like I would say, the enhancements you can do. So before we kick it off, like I want to remind you that this week we had the Emily Grobler week, which means that we have the artist Emily Grobler. We did an interview with her. If you have not checked it out, please have a look at it. It's really funny. And um, it's quite, it was a really nice moment chatting with her, getting to know her, getting to know her artwork. So if you have not watched the video, you can find it on the webpage. And I will also try to link it down below if I remember correctly, but it is in the list of the most recent videos. It came out this Monday. So um, we have this Emily Grobler week. So until today, at the end of the day, you will get a 15% of everything of uh, her artwork. So also the current two new releases that you will see today in today's video, you will get them until tonight, 11.59 p.m. CAT um, at 15%. Like for tomorrow, yeah, uh, there will be like 10% off on our new releases like every weekend. So um, don't miss out if you want to get one or two of them or even the older ones. So you get 15% off. So let's start with Emily Grobler. So I did tell you a little bit about her. You can also watch the video, the interview with it. But she's also known as Floster Bunny Scribbles and she's a South African illustrator who has been working in the 2D animation industry for 10 years, but also has a deep love for traditional art. She spends her free hours filling up sketchbooks with scenes of the natural plant world, animals and people, capturing the freshness and tenderness of color, light and organic form in an illustrative style. Her favorite mediums are gouache paint, watercolors and also mixed media, such as inked line work with color pencils, alcohol markers and paint. She would love to one day become a full-time illustrative artist. So she's really an amazing artist, very very kind and friendly and I love to talk about like her artworks with her. So it's the first one we have, it's called Fields of Chamomile and we do offer it in a few sizes. Let me just get it right. Um, like I said, I always have to check twice not to tell you like wrong information um, so I'm going to give you like the exact sizes that we offer it we offer it in um, a few sizes like I told you guys we have it once in 40 by 50 if you want to go small we have it in 60 by 75 and in 80 by 100 if you want to go big um, there was Lindsay who said that the girl actually reminds her of um, um, Coraline like and at first I was like huh but then I was like yeah definitely like if you have a look at her hair and the colors that Emily used to draw her like um, the yellow and the blue I think it totally gives Coraline vibes and I love the raven that we have in the background this is such a cute painting and I think for spring it is really ideal if you want to work with enhancements um, I would go with the yellow of her dress I would make that one very very bright like either very sparkly with ABs or if you like it less sparkly you could use twinkle drills and I would also use the yellow for the chamomile so you can use it in the flowers and I would maybe use a metallic drill for the line like this very thin line you can see where she's holding like the bird um, I would not go too much into the blue colors. I would really mainly focus on the yellow parts and enhance these for this very, very beautiful painting. Um, then we also have another one this week that we released by Emily Grobler. 
and this is called under the dogwood tree. So this time we have another one of these tamers, these girls, like we talked about um, in um, the interview that Emily did draw with an animal. And this time we have like this deer here. And we have that in three sizes as well, 50 by 60, a 60 by 70 and 70 by 85. And you can get them like in squares or rounds. If you want like to enhance something in this painting, you could definitely go with the part that the color that you like the most. Again, I love like to enhance the yellow parts, um, the yellow part of the cello pad of the girl, like what she's wearing the yellow of the flowers that you can see, maybe the yellow of the eye of the deer. I would not use ABs for those though. I would work with twinkle drills that a little more decent, like not as bright. And you could also work with the horns or the nose of the deer. So this is one painting that I really loved. And I think it's also the painting that I did send over to Emily Grobler um, so that she could try out diamond painting. So um, yeah, this is really a lovely illustration, one that I love about the theme of the animals. So very, very beautiful drawing as well from Emily. Um, then let's move on with the next one. So a quick reminder again that the colors do maybe seem a little bit duller here on the screen or in the, the painting you see on the web page. But once that drills are placed, it will be so, so much more brighter. So don't worry about that. So the next one does come from one of our more recent artists that we have in the shop. Um, and it's from Efalana Illustrations. So... Um, let me quickly show you. So Afalana is one of the artists that does have her very unique style. She does draw a lot of girls um, and often it's like puppets and they appear in a very beautiful scenery. And I love how they are always like the main representation and how they get like this very beautiful way, the way she has to like draw the hair and the style of these people. Like um, this is called Puppet Alice in Wonderland and it's by Afalana Illustrations and we have it in three sizes as well. It's called in 50 by 70, 60 by 85 and 70 by 100. So what can you enhance in this painting? So if you want, I would work with the red parts. I would definitely use some ABs for the ribbon in her hair and the ribbon on her dress and the red color in general of her dress. And then I would use some crystals to go with the red flowers here. Like I would make them stand out even more using a few crystals here and there, just like to make this border come out very beautifully. Then I would work with um, maybe a little bit blue for the hat of the Mad Hatter. You could work with black. I don't know if you like black. Black ABs are very s different because you have like they have this more um, oily tone once you place them. So this is up to your preference. But you could make the rabbit stand out a little bit more. If you want to really focus it on the girl, go with the hair, add some few strains of lightning, maybe lay it there where you have like um, this part here. You could enhance that um, very beautifully to get like more of a rendering of um, that out of the hair. So I really love this painting. Um, definitely one that would fit for the next Alice in Wonderland event. So maybe for next year if Lindsay does host it again this would one be one that I would definitely love to work on as well. Let's move on and let's come to the next one. So this one is one from our artist that has been with us for a little bit longer and it's from Tatiana Boyko and let me just tell you a little bit more about her. So she's also known as Tatiana B.S. Point art. So if you go, want to look her up, you can find her in that way. Um, she is more of a traditional artist and she has a lot of very beautiful drawings um, that are very colorful and often they represent like a person with an animal. This time we have this beautiful girl here with the teddy bears. So we call it teddy um, and we do offer it in a few sizes. Um, we offer it actually in, let me quickly see, we offer it in a 45 by 60 if you want to go small, 60 by 80, a 70 by 95 or very, very big. If you want to hang it on the wall, it can be a 90 by 120. So this is 
a very big size that we only recommend like if you really want to hang it up and um, you are sure about that. So this is very beautiful. Like I really love this design. Um, it gives me like Valentine's vibes. I know it's already over, but you still have like this very little bit of kitsch effect with um, very beautiful colors, all of these red tones, the teddy bears, the hearts. So very, very lovely. Um, I would also work with red in this painting, like maybe add some to the hearts here, either crystals or maybe ABs or twinkle drills. The necklace would be lovely here, not a heart. The heart here, the ribbon, um, the tie and the, um, the necklace again. You can also work a little bit with the flowers if you want on the girl. I would work with her eyes, make them really greenish, stand out of the painting um, and focus it on that part. But I would mainly work with like the reddish shades and then focus on her face to make that stand out even more. Otherwise it might go a little bit under if you just use too many like special drills around the face. Also try to focus a little bit at least on the face of the girl. So this one was um, Tari by Tatiana Boyko, but we also do have another one. Um, and this one is another one from Clarisse Bourmont. So Clarisse Bourmont is an artist that we had um, a lot. We have released a few paintings of her recently um, because she did draw a few of the dragons that we released for um, Chinese New Year. So let me tell you a little bit more about Clarisse. Um, Clarisse is a French artist. Um, she's an illustrator um, that has uh, a yoniric universe in which she tries to identify through the gallery of a variety of histories and colors. She reconstitutes her dreams um, through jam, by jam, and she prolongs it with a unique emotion. So it's very beautiful what she says, and there are a lot of very beautiful colors in all of her drawings. So this one is Witchy Garden by Clarisse Bourmont. And let me tell you a little bit more about that painting. So um, we do have it in a few different sizes. And um, <clears throat> we have it in a few different sizes. Um, let me just quickly give you a look what they will look like. So we have it. I'm just like, I left the real page where I wanted to tell you the page. Um, the sizes. So we have it in a 45 by 60 if you want to go small. Uh, we have it in a 60 or 80, 70 by 90 or 90 by 120. Um, this canvas comes with a few more colors. So there are more colors in this drawing than in a regular kit, just because there's a lot of going on. So please be aware that there might be confetti going on. Um, what I love about this drawing is that we have this greenery again. It does remind me a lot of uh, spring that is coming up. We have these lovely witches that are in the garden, gardening. We have someone that looks like Kiki up here in the tree with the little kitten next to her. Very, very beautiful painting and very friendly one for uh, springtime in general. So not the dark witches that we are used to see, but really more friendlier witches um, this time around. With that, let's move on to the next one. And this one is from an artist called George Grimsbury. And George Grimsbury, he has a little bit more darker style than what we've just seen with um, Clarisse Beaumont's drawings. Um, let me see quickly what George told us about him. So he says, greetings, his name is George Grimsbury. And he's a graphic illustrator from Russia and he has been creating for over 20 years. He loves the mystical and witchy atmosphere and he hopes that you love the world of Grimsbury. And I must say that we do love his artwork. I especially love his artwork. And I think this one, which is called Bear, is so bear is so much stunning. Like we have it in three sizes, a 50 by 50, a 60 by 60, and a 70 by 70. So again, please don't worry about the colors. They will be much brighter once you have placed down the drills. So this is Bear. And um so we have this beautiful woman here with the bear. And if you want to enhance it, I would work with her hair, of course, and with um, the thing, the flower that he has in his mouth. Make that a little bit more drawing to the eye. And if you want to add more, you could always add a few um, special drills 
to the pink um, dress that the girl is wearing. I would not focus too much on the darker colors. I always prefer to enhance the lighter colors because they are easier on the eye than maybe the darker colors are. So I would definitely go with work with the dress, work with her hair and the flowers, the berries that he has in his mouth. So this one is very, very cute, not too big. And I think she does look adorable. Like this is definitely a painting that I would love to work on in the future as well. And we have a last painting for you guys. And this one is from Mini Coisty and it's called Tropical Flowers. But before we do that, let me just introduce her again to you. If you don't really remind who she is, remember who she is. So she's also one of our, I would not say more recent, but she joined our family a little bit later. So she's called Agat or Mini Coisty Art. Um, all our artists will be linked down below, of course. She's an autodidact. This means that she just like learned drawing by herself and she spends all of her free time drawing. She's inspired by nature, but also by animation movies. And she loves to create feminine characters or animals by mixing traditional art techniques with markers and crayons and colors and aquarelle. Um, but she also loves to bring in a lot of detail into her artwork and this makes it very, very colorful. And this is something that we see in tropical flowers as well. So this is very, very beautiful painting, which also reminds me of spring and in general summer. Um, I don't know where you live, but where we are currently living, like the sun is coming out slowly. So this one is a 40 by 50, a 60 by 75 on 80 by 100. And um, it's very, very beautiful. So you can see here that it will be, there's a lot of colors where you have to work on. Um, if you want to enhance it, just choose like the colors for the background that you like. I would go with yellow or maybe with red. Uh, but if you are more of a blue person, you can work with these parts as well. So just choose the flowers that you like the best to enhance. You could work with um, the earrings, of course, of the girl. You could work with her lips if you want to make them very outstanding and red. Um, otherwise, you could also add a little bit of the greenish to her eyes for the color. But I would not focus too much on her eyes or like her face in general. Just make it a little bit sparkly. Uh, use maybe twinkle drills to not make it sparkle too much. And then focus for the rest on the flowers that you like a lot. So for me, it's like most of these flowers. I love also these red dots here. Um, I think they would look lovely. And this is like a part that I personally would enhance. But I think this is up to everyone's preference um, as far as this painting goes. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. These are the reviews like of the paintings that we are going to put out Saturday at 12 p.m. CAT. And you will get the weekly uh, offer on them as soon as they are out, which means tomorrow, Saturday at 12 p.m. And the offer ends on Sunday 11.59 p.m. CAT, so you can get a 10% off on our new releases. I also use this to let you know that we are very proudly sponsoring Women Who Sparkle 2024 that is hosted by Diamond Paintings and Purse and also by Sparkling Dots. And so you can just check both of them out. They are very, very lovely, um, very, very sweet ladies that are offering this very hosting this very beautiful event all you have to do is join with a painting of a woman uh, or a female character or animal and go check out their webpage because like not their webpage but their instagram because they have a lot of sponsors for this very nice event and you can win a lot of different stuff from uh, canvases over to pens to coats or whatever and in this context we are also also offering a code just use sparkle 15 um, and you can get 15 percent of one of our selection the women who sparkle 2024 collection that we did create together with our beautiful sponsors like the hosts of this and uh, you will find like the paintings that they selected um, and that i also like completed with a few of the paintings from our shop that I think you would like. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of our new releases. If you have other ideas for um, the enhancement, they are very welcome. 
and also let me know what are you currently working on. So I hope I will see you in my next video. Until then, stay healthy, stay hydrated and bye guys!